guys, it's Joel and welcome back to the channel. Uh, and welcome today to California, in fact, uh, Highway 1, the Pacific Coast Highway, somewhere between Los Angeles and San Francisco at the moment. We're on the way to Monterey this morning, but before I explain what we're doing, obviously, you're probably shocked because you're used to seeing me in the UK in the Z4. I am here uh, in the States this week, actually for a YouTube event I mentioned in my last video, uh, but we thought because we're here for a few days before, we'd make a little trip of it and, uh, and, and drive the Pacific Coast Highway. So that's exactly what we're doing. The car I am in, is a 6.2 litre V8 Chevrolet Corvette. I've teased it on Instagram and on uh, my YouTube community tab, so you might have seen it. And today, yeah, like I say, we're driving up towards Monterey. I wasn't gonna film anything, but I thought maybe I'll make a little vlog today. You may or, not, may or may not see this. But yeah, right now, we're on a really impressive road. So I've stuck a GoPro up here, and I wanna show you guys not just the incredible views, but the incredible sounds that this car's making. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's taking the roads quite well. So I thought I'd bring you along today because it would be a shame not to share it with you. And yeah, let's head up the road to Monterey. The car seems to have successfully survived its first proper grilling. Uh, I think Charlie's just about survived that as well, haven't you, Charlie? Um, yeah, no, the car's done well. She's a bit hot, we've pulled over. I think we're gonna swap driving now as well. Um, but yeah, man, this, this Pacific Coast Highway is absolutely stunning. And I have to say, that is a really fun car to be doing it in. It's got so much power. So I think 460 brake horsepower, 0-60, somewhere in the region of 3.6, 3.7 seconds. I don't know how fast it will go, I think probably the high 180s. But it does handle pretty well. I mean, this is a rental, it's not the best kept example. There's a little bit of a tracking issue. But, um, you know, it breaks well, it does handle well, it turns in well to the corners, and it does go. So, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys saw what was going on from the GoPro there. Um, but yeah, I mean, what a place to be driving as well. But I think maybe an hour or so to go to Monterey now. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what else is in store. stopped in Monterey for a lunch but I haven't actually mentioned what we're doing so what we're doing today is heading all the way up to San Francisco it's about I think six hours from where we started this morning sort of halfway between LA and San Fran and uh, we've got three or four mile uh, three or four hours of driving to do still today where we're gonna go now though after we've finished our lunch is to 17 mile drive it's a toll road it's a famous toll road here in Monterey uh, which is 17 miles funnily enough and it's meant to be spectacular so we're gonna go there now and uh, yeah, check it out. But uh, look at this Corvette on the street. I think looking very, very cool here in Monterey. And also, 370Z Roadster. Never been a fan of the way Roadsters look. And to be fair, the roof doesn't look fantastic on this one. But I have to say, black on black looks pretty cool. And yeah, really, really cool next to the Corvette. My favorite thing on this, guys, is probably those quad <laughs> exhausts at the back. And uh, I have to say, Charlie and I's favorite thing about this car so far has definitely been the sound that it makes. It is, it is really good, really, really good. Anyway, onwards now, 70 mile drive, we'll see what that's about. And then up to San Francisco.
Well, this is 17 mile drive. We've just pulled in here. You can see that it's definitely worth the $10.50 uh, toll fee. I do love that Corvette. The only thing that's really letting it down is the uh, the gearbox is not the best. It's obviously an auto with paddle shift, but it's uh, yeah, it's not fantastic, but it's properly fast. And yeah, obviously like these views, pretty crazy. Anyway, last bit of 70 mile drive to do. And then as I've said about a hundred times, up to San Francisco, three, three, three and a half hours, something like that. And then hopefully we'll get there before it's dark. So I'll check in with you guys very soon. now in San Francisco at our motel and it's an underground car park. You guys have got to hear how this thing sounds when it, I think it's cold now, so uh, listen to this. Yeah, so this car is freaking loud. That was uh, actually painful and there was a lot of black smoke, which you might have seen, which I inhaled. So I now feel a bit, uh, but funny. Anyway, we're in San Francisco. I didn't film any more yesterday um, because it, it was just boring and dark actually. Uh, the first part of the Pacific Coast Highway was amazing. This car was a lot of fun. We gave it a bit of a push and obviously you saw me doing the 70 mile drive in Monterey. But yeah, we're in San Francisco. Today we're actually heading all the way back to Los Angeles. Um, but we're going the boring route, so I'm probably not going to film that. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of San Fran. We're going to drive around for a few hours now, have a look at things like the Golden Gate Bridge, try and find some of those iconic streets, and yeah, just enjoy the sounds of this Corvette through the city of San Francisco. I realise I haven't really shown you guys actually round the Corvette yet. I think there's going to be a couple of sort of more reviewy type videos coming up, but I thought I'd take the opportunity now to sort of show you this car, its spec and etc. So as I mentioned before, it's a Corvette Stingray. I think it's a 1LT trim or Z... I can't remember. It's a Z51, if I've got that right. Obviously white. Uh, it's got the Stingray badge there. That tells you it's a Stingray. Uh, white with silver alloys, red calipers. Looks really, really nice and obviously lots of black sort of details all around it as well. No Chevrolet badge, just a Corvette badge. I think it's technically just a Corvette and Chevrolet has no association with it. I'm not too sure. Uh, and yeah, it's actually, even though it's silver alloys, it's got a ag very aggressive sort of stance. And uh, as I've mentioned previously, coming around to the back, my favourite part of it has to be the quad exhaust there. It does just look very, very mean. Now, as this is a Stingray, the roof actually comes off. It's not a convertible, it's not a soft top, obviously, and it's not a hard top sort of electronic convertible um, like some other cars. It is a roof that you have to manually remove, which I guess we might as well demonstrate now, given that the sun is trying to come out. Uh, it's a little bit of a palaver, and it's not the most practical of, of things, but uh, yeah, have a look at this. To take the roof off, you have to <laughs> Uh, undo three clips. There is uh, one on that side, which Charlie's just unclipping now. One on this side, which I shall <coughs> try and yank. And there's also one here at the back. And once you unclip that, if I can do it, let me try. Am I doing it right? Ah, oh, there we go. I'll try and film whilst helping Charlie here, but it, uh, yeah, lifts off like that. And then, uh, let me just open this. It awkwardly, you got that? <laughs> it awkwardly uh, sort of slides into the back here. It's made of, I think, fiberglass, so it's actually quite light. And that's it, it just fits nicely in there. You can still get, I don't know if you saw what bags we had in the boot before we put it on, but you can still get a fair amount of stuff in there. There you go, you can see underneath, it's quite a long boot. And then yeah, that just slams like so. Now that's off, you can see the interior is red, which uh, in my opinion looks fantastic with the uh, white paintwork. In terms of what's inside, I've just closed the door, haven't I? I should probably open that. It's fairly standard. Uh, flat bottom steering wheel, which is nice. LED sort of display here, but you've also got an analog speedo and some analog 
uh, gauges there. Infotainment screen in the middle, which is pretty, well, below average. Got a cool little screen button here, which is kind of fun, but really, you want it up. And yeah, no heated seats or cooled seats in this, which is very annoying. Uh, but uh, there's not really too much to talk about. The only thing I will say is to open the doors. There's quite a cool little button, although if you got into an accident, you wouldn't necessarily trust that. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to the car. I thought I'd show you round it. Uh, guys, I'm gonna round up today's video, I think. We've sort of, I don't know, this video's just been a little bit of a travel vlog, I guess, of, of the road trip up the PCH from uh, near Los Angeles up here to San Francisco. As I mentioned earlier, today we're driving back to LA, but we're doing it the short route, the, the boring route, straight down the interstate, uh, the center of California. And so I'm not gonna film it, because it will just be tedious and uh, yeah, it won't be that interesting for you guys. Anyway, when I get back to LA, obviously I'm there for a certain event, which is happening tomorrow. After that, I've got a couple more days and I'm hoping to take the Corvette on some Canyon Roads where I can get some proper shots of it for you guys. Um, you know, really focus on the sound and the way it drives, because I think lots of you are interested um, in that, as opposed to sort of just seeing these amazing places that we're visiting. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you stay tuned for the next couple of videos that are to come from this trip to the United States with this Corvette. I'll see you very, very soon.